When we work with NPM, it is really important that we understand how versioning works with packages. And this is where semantic versioning comes into picture. Now semantic versioning is a specification where a version is represented by three numbers that mean the same thing for every developer. So let's try to understand with an example. I'm going to run the command npm install load dash 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 save so that the package gets installed locally and is also entered in the package.json file. Now when this happens, load dash is entered with the latest version. So when we use npm install, a package by default gets installed with the latest stable release. And these three numbers here, the first one, 4, represents the major version number, 16 represent, represents the minor version number, and 1 represents the patch version number. Now, any time there is a bug fix or a performance improvement, let's say, this patch version number gets incremented. So 1 becomes 2. And minor version number gets incremented when there is a new feature, but that feature is not going to break any existing functionality. So 1.6 might become 1.7 or it, it might even become 2.0 and so on. And finally, we have the major version number. Now this gets incremented only when there is breaking, when there's a break in the existing functionality. For example, Angular 1 to Angular 2. So there were many changes that broke the existing functionality. So the major version number gets updated. But sometimes we might need a specific version of a package rather than the latest version of the package. So to install a specific package version, we use the add symbol followed by the package version. So let's try to install npm install low dash, but this time we are going to install a previous version. Let's go with 3.3.0 and then dash dash save so that we save it in the package.json file. So when I run this, it's going to install low dash at the specified version, so 3.3.0. And if you have a look at the package.json file, it gets updated to the version that we installed it. Now, sometimes we might also want to restrict to the minor version number. For example, let's go with, all right, I need major version of 4, and I need a minor version of, let's go with 1.4, but the patch version, I need the latest. So let me explain to you what I mean. So npm install low dash at 4.14. So what I mean to say here is that give me low dash package with major version 4, minor version 1.4, but the package version, the, uh, sorry, the patch version, give me the latest. So when I run this command, and I needed to use dash dash save, so let me also do that again. Just gonna wait, all right, let's do it dash dash save, and it's going to install low dash 4.14 and then it's going to take the latest patch version so 2 so 4.14 and in this minor version 2 is the latest patch version so that is how you install a specific major and minor version but with the latest patch version and finally we can also specify just the major version so give me the latest pa package of low dash with a major version of 4. So the command is going to be, I'm not sure if you can have a look, okay. So npm install low dash at 4 dash dash save. So when I run this command, it's going to install the latest major version of 4 of low dash. So 4.14.2 gets changed to 4.16.1. So in version major version 4, this is the latest for this is the latest version of minor and patch and that is how you install specific versions of npm packages